Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is our critter room where uh, we have our science teacher who asked me about two or three years ago if he could get a fish tank. It's all mostly reptiles and amphibians um, because children have allergies. You know, he cares for them and he, you know, uh, grows their habitat and teaches the kids how to clean it and care for the animals. Do you guys want to start spraying everybody down that gets sprayed down and filling up some water bowls? Sure. Okay. When we give tours to parents, um, they're just amazed that we have this room. Um, it shows that the kids can care for another living being. Um, it teaches them to respect the environment. Um, we've become a much more environmentally friendly school, um, where we even had geese this year that hatched babies in our playground. And it was a little bit of a nuisance, but the children realized that these are living creatures, um, learning that from having the critter room of how to take care of these animals and that we have to share the planet with these animals. Remember why he's got that big spiky tail? Yeah, it's his only defense mechanism. Otherwise, he'd be a pretty tasty treat. So he's got that spiky tail that he would turn around and they, they bite on and get a mouthful of spikes and probably not like it. I just think there's so much we can learn through animals, whether it's, it's about them and, and how our actions can affect the environment at large. And, and even something as simple as what kind of fertilizer you can put down on your lawn can affect the, the animals that you're going to have in your backyard. When I got him, we think he was about 10, so he's 13 or 14 right now. Craigslist is where I actually get a lot of them from, um, from people looking to send them out for adoption. Um, so I, I adopt a lot of them and I'll write them an email saying that I, I'm a teacher at a school, that I have a club that comes in, we take care of them, they get held, the, the kids enjoy coming down, and it's a learning experience for them. I love it when I have a, a class come down. Um, there's nothing better than when you get 20 kids in there and they don't know where to look first. They go to one tank and one of their friends comes over and comes, no, come look at this, and grabs them by the arm and, and pulls them over. I've been in the club since the beginning. Uh, Mr. Stenkham passed the idea by me once, and I said that would be cool. The Euromastic is probably my favorite, though, because it's calm, it's cool looking. I've learned a lot about taking care of animals. That's how I ended up getting my crested gecko. Every single animal in that is cold blood, so that means, like, you have to have warm water on the warm temperatures, almost 24-7. Like you can take them out for a little bit, but you have to put them back. Seeing them was pretty cool how they hunt. Some stuck, some just wait. A lot of friends like told me about it, and I was like, ooh, I want to try it. I like the crested gecko and um, the leopard gecko because the crested gecko, it's like, he's kind of cool. He can like crawl, um, crawl up the walls. So these guys are um, Vietnamese stick bugs, and uh, that's their, their main form of camouflage, is that when they're climbing on a tree branch or something, they just look like a natural part of the, the branch. And the predators have a very hard time deciphering what's a stick and what's an insect. I look up to him because of like how he does everything, because of how much he does at school, and yet he still has time to come here and teach us about um, all these animals and how to take care of them and stuff like that. Caring for an animal is such a huge responsibility because if you're not careful and you forget about them or um, you buy them the wrong food, it could be detrimental to them. And I think being able to teach responsibility and love and compassion through caring for one of God's little creatures is um, one of the best things that we could teach our, our kids and our students.